Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. Happy Saturday. Welcome to the live stream. How are you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well. <laughs> Boris, Fang, I appreciate you too. Joshua McLelland, hey man, what's up? Tristan McEwen, yes I am. Ah, oh, okay, awesome man. Uh, Stephen Murray, what's up man? Uh, Ruhr, Murer Canada, what's up? Good morning, my friend. Uh, Luca Bojic, hello. Hello, sir. How's it going? Cat Lover Mining, what's up, man? Jason Poole, Tabnak News, Gun of Gain, uh, I Find Blocks, Thanos, what's up, guys? If you guys are here, the life I live, yeah, let's go. What's up, man? All right, guys. Let's begin this, let's begin this episode right away, straight away. So, oops, just hit my mic. Alright, uh, first off, we're going to begin with Dream. And uh, he's got some really nice pictures here. And actually, he mentioned to me that they are not his pictures, but pictures from his Discord. Uh, so, uh, actually, uh, if you guys are wanting to buy and sell crypto mining hardware, you can uh, you can go and go to his Discord. I'll link it in the description later at the end of this uh, at the end of this live stream, and uh, you guys can buy and sell through his Discord. So there he has an escrow um, an escrow service. So uh, you can basically what an escrow service is is where you uh, if you if you're gonna send Bitcoin, okay, basically this escrow will hold it, okay, until you receive the item. All right. And then once you receive the item, you tell the escrow, okay, I received it, and then the escrow will release the funds to the seller, okay? And as you guys can see here, there's a lot of uh, hardware being sold on his Discord here under the chat channel. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, so let's begin. Dream has his first picture here. Let's blow it up in a bigger picture here. Alright. Do any of you, do any of you know what this is? This is Kinetic, uh, Kinex? Lego? I think this is Lego, right? I forgot, I forgot the name. Is it Kinetic? Kinetics or something? I forgot. Let me know. But this is pretty sick. Having a mining rig built with Lego, this is pretty cool. Nex. Ah, Nex. Okay, yeah, not Kinetics. Nex. I used to play this stuff when I was a kid. <laughs> And he has it in a grow tent, which is actually legit. It's that's 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 pretty cool. That's really cool. <laughs> uh, let me know what you guys think about it. That's actually really cool. Um, okay, next picture from Dream. So he's got a looks like a. All right, this is definitely in a bathroom because he's got a sink. He's got a sink right here. That's pretty funny. <laughs> and uh, EVGA 750 watt power supply G2, and looks like he's got a MATX motherboard here from Gigabyte. Um, let's see, Kingston SSD, and then two MSI Aero. Ah, that's that's pretty cool. Look at that, sitting in the sink. As long as this tap doesn't turn on, <laughs> he's good. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. Dream, thanks so much for the pick. Okay, next picture we got is, holy smoke, look at this. Okay. <laughs> alright, this, this, alright, I know that these are the Star Wars editions. Yeah, these are the Star Wars editions. Uh, Titan X or Titan XP's? I forgot what... yeah, Titans. <laughs> the Titan XP Star Wars editions, yeah. These are really expensive. I know when these were released, these costed like... Insane, insane expensive back then. Uh, probably like up to $2,000. $2,000 per card. This is like... Like, seriously. <laughs> seriously insane. <laughs> uh, gun of Gain 4K? Oh man, really? Okay, that's... That's a lot. That's seriously a lot. 
uh, Clarence, how much do they hash? Uh, honestly, I don't know how much they hash, but uh, I, I, I'm i thinking, I think they, they do pretty good. But uh, for the price of how much they cost and uh, your break even, your ROI or break even on these cards is, is going to be years for sure. Depending on when he bought the, depending on when he bought these. Hey, Gundy's, what's up, man? Crypto Mikel, what's up, guys? Uh, Gun of Gain, what's up, man? I think they were, uh, I live the life, wow, some has some money. Yeah, definitely, this is definitely a lot. Thanos, the force gives about 15% bonus hash rate. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Look at this, this is insane. This is insane. One, two, three, four, four rows, four, four towers. Oh, he's got three towers here. Um, oh my goodness. All right. Oh. Huh. Oh, wonder how much that costed. <laughs> All right. Next up, we got Rain. Rain, and he's got some very nice pre. It looks like uh, server or octo miner, octo miner cases, with I believe eight or nine GPUs in these. That's pretty cool. Uh, Clarence, Stegger Hashimoto, mining hash rate 41.05 mega hash. That's it? Yeah, that's it, man. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. How you guys all doing? Alright, um... Okay, Rain, this is a pretty sick picture. You got some nice metal cabinets. And uh, you got some 8 GPU Veta frames here. It looks like you are running some RX Vegas or reference design 480s or 580s. I'm not sure, but these are on the 8 GPU Veta frames. And uh, okay, you got some MSI Air Boost cards here. I'm going to say these are probably Vegas. It has the two 8 pins by the looks of it. And, uh, yeah, these Octominer cases, I'm assuming you're running blower cards in these because that's what they're a little bit better through, uh, server cases. Um, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Rain, thanks so much for the pick. All right, Dream has another picture here from his di escrow discord. Um, Clarence, better off buying Radeon 7s. So yeah, 100%. Like, you could probably buy at the time... I think probably two Radeon 7s for one of those Titan XPs. Yeah, de definitely. All right, guys. Uh, what well, next picture we got here from Dream? All right, we got a nice night shot here of. Uh, looks like we got some RTX or uh, maybe 1080 Ti's. Look like 1080 Ti's. And these look like AMD cards here. And it looks like we got some other cards. <laughs> I like all the power distribution. All the all the power ports are on the wall here. That's pretty cool. Hey, Dave Wolf, thanks so much for the donation, man. I'm at work. Oh, you're at work. <laughs> Wait, Dave Wolf, what are you what are you doing on a Saturday? Working on a Saturday? Oh, I'm sorry, man. Uh, thanks for thanks for stopping by, Dave Wolf. Yeah, look at all the RGB clearance. This is pretty sick, man. Ah, uh, this is night shot. All these look like all on Veta frames for sure. Veta frames or Astrin frames, and uh, yeah, look at you got that uh, 12 port or 8 port Netgear switch. Looks like a 24 port or 12. I think 12 port. Uh, for yeah, looks like a 12 port Netgear. Pretty sick. Dream, nice picture, man. All right, next up we got some more pictures from Dream here. All right, a bunch of Acorn Nest X2Gs and a bunch of CLE 215 pluses. Look at this. This is nuts. I've never played with an Acorn. I've never played with a FPGA from these guys yet, as from Squirrel. Uh, but I think that I know there's a few drama stuff happening with them at the moment with Xilinx. So yeah, definitely. I don't think they're. I don't think they're uh, selling these anymore. Oh, Clarence. Oh, thanks so much for the donation, man. Ah, uh, thanks, buddy. Ah, uh, you've donated a lot in the pa in the past week. Jeez. No more, man. No more. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, man. Um, Acorns, yeah. Den, Leves, Go Miners. That's a lot of FPGAs. Yeah, Joe. Uh, yo, Red Panda, have you tried CryptoTab or someone does at his rig? CryptoTab. Uh, I don't know what CryptoTab is. Clarence, go buy some ETC and donate it. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. Definitely. 
All right, these acorns. Very nice, very nice. Uh, next picture. Ooh, okay. What do we got going on in here? All right, first off, I can say that this is not your typical mining shed because I can see some phone lines and some, like, other old school, like, wiring in this, like, this must be in a business of some sort. Maybe a warehouse, old warehouse. Got some phone lines, got some internet here. Got some fans going on, got an exhaust fan here. All right, we got some MSI, looks like 580s here. Uh, Gaming X editions. And we got some Titan X GPUs here. Look at this. Look at this. Titan X, look at these guys. Not the XP, but the X's. <laughs> uh, wow. Crazy on these Veta frames, a lot of Veta frames. This looks very similar to that uh, Star Wars edition. Is this the same picture? I think this is the same picture. Wait, let's go back. Let's go back. Here it is. Uh, AX power supply. Yeah, this is the same picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the same picture. This is the same. This is the same picture as the one we're just we were just looking at. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I just didn't. This it didn't have the uh, RGB. Uh, didn't have the lights on. Uh, that's funny. Okay, well that's pretty cool. Damn. Um, okay, Dream, thanks so much for that picture, man. Alright, next pick, we got, uh... Okay, what do we got here? We got some nicely cable-managed power distribution here. And, uh, looks like we got some server cases. I don't know what these, I don't know what these cases are. But these look pretty massive. Wow. Um... If you guys in the chat, let me know. If you guys know what these uh, cases are. <laughs> 49 watching, 20 likes. Smash the like button, guys. Thanks for coming by. Happy Saturday to all of you. Hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, we got two Asus monitors up here. And uh, we got a lot of cables, for sure, coming out of these. I don't know what these are. What's going on here? What are the cables? Is this an FPGA 16 card case link I linked a, few, a week ago that has five 1200 watt PSUs? Wow. Wait, Boris, 500 watt PSUs? For real? That's crazy. YouTube watcher, what's up, man? Crafty2 just woke up. No worries, man. I just woke up as well, man. I just woke up. I just woke up as well. Uh. Uh, one of the 16 card Vega systems they were pulling, selling a while ago. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, maybe. E Ethereal Capital Black Boxes. Ethereal Capital Black Boxes. Let's, let's search this up. I'm curious. I'm curious. Uh, wow, this, this site doesn't have an SSL. Oh, I'm not going there. Uh, is there pic ah, here we go. Here we go. Oh my god, this is a monster. Okay, okay, okay. This is definitely a monster. I see now. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Five HP 1200 watt PSUs. Yeah, okay, I see. Okay, these are meant for like P102s. Yeah, Thanos, exactly. Like the fanless, these are meant for the fanless design uh, GPUs. That looks sick. Look at all the PCIe slots on this thing. This is a monster. Holy smoke, that's crazy. This must cost a lot. Definitely, this must cost, like, I'm going to say, like, maybe a thousand bucks for the, uh, just for the frame and uh, motherboard. It's definitely be, be really expensive. That's crazy. All right, uh, Dream, thanks so much for the pics, man. All right, continuing, my friends. We got uh, Om Omi, Omli. What is up, man? We got some Phoenix Miner action here. Uh, 406 mega hash. 406 mega hash. Looks like you got an RX 570. And uh, here's your build right here. Very nice. Looks like a custom shoe rack. Custom shoe rack of some sort, but looks like you got all AMD GPUs here. Very nice. Oh, I can tell you have a 2400 watt Dell. Or, is it a Dell? Yeah. 
2400 watt Dell power supply. This is one of the server power supplies. That's pretty cool. I think Nerd Gears sells them right now. Let's let's see. I'm gonna see if Nerd Gears has them. 2400 watt PSUs. I'm gonna close all these pictures because I'm streaming. Uh, let's see. Power supplies. Nerd Gears. Yes. 20 Dell. Oh, it's not Dell. It's a Delta. Yeah, Delta 2400 watt. Only 115 bucks right now, guys. This is a killer deal. I think I'm gonna go. I I definitely want to try this. Look at this. Look at that. 150 bucks, 240 watt, 200, uh, 2,400 watts. But you have to run this at uh, 240, uh, at, and and you need a C19 to C20 cable, and uh, yeah, you need 200 200 volt to 240 volt uh, in order to run this Delta uh, Delta server power supply. Pretty sick, pretty sick. Actually, no, it might be a different one. Just actually looking at it now, it has different um, uh, different. PCIe connectors. Oh, no, no. Yeah, no, that's the same. Yeah, that's the same power supply. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Alright, cool. And the motherboard he is running is a TB250 BTC Pro motherboard from Biostar. Very nice. Omi, thanks so much for the pick, my friend. Alright, guys. Next up, we got... Uh, uh, we got Dyslexic. Dyslexic. What is up, man? Alright, 165 watts. 165 watts, yeah. And uh, what are we running here, man? Dyslexic. We are running a... I do not know what this is. This is a low-profile GPU of some sort. And you have it sitting on top of your CPU, Intel CPU. <laughs> it's sitting on top of the CPU. And then we have another another GPU on the bottom. I don't, I'm not sure. Oh, no, no, that's a fan. No, oh, no, that's a GPU. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what that GPU is. And then we got a Kingston SSD sitting here, and uh, yeah, nice man. I like it. I like it. This must be in a small form factor computer for sure. Dyslexic. <laughs> Thanks so much, man. 165 watts for the total uh, machine there. Um, Clarence for 2400 watt. I'm doing it wrong. Gundy's shameless plugs. Yeah. Zero currency. Thanks for the video. Hey, zero currency. Thanks for uh, the zero uh, last night. That was awesome, man. Uh, Big King Ross. I work on servers, and those PSUs are loud. Servers run like 140 decibels. Wow. Okay, that's a that's really loud. Big King. Uh, 120. Jk. <laughs> Big King. Yeah, we use thick muffs. Trust me. That's awesome, man. That's awesome, man. Awesome. Big King Ross. Aussie, yep, I use the 1200 watt AX Corsair, so silent. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's awesome. Okay, guys, uh, Dyslexic, thanks so much for the pick. Continuing, my friends, Lars and Guru. Ooh, Lars and Guru, we're gonna blow this picture up. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty, guys, this looks insane already. Okay, we got. I'm. Uh, these look like custom. Uh, like a custom made shelf, or just a regular metal shelf. But we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, 11 RX Sapphire Nitros or Pulses. I'm not sure which one these are. Nitro or Pulses, one of those two brands, uh, models. And uh, another row at the top and another row over here. Holy smoke, running the Asus, looks like the Asus B250. Uh, motherboard at the bottom and then we got an ASRock PTC Plus motherboard in the top row here and another one over here on the right. Holy smoke. 11 GPUs per motherboard. This is crazy. Pulses. Red equal red with no RGB. Ah, okay. Nice. This is crazy. How much hash rate is this? Let's get the calculator. Let's get the calculator. All right, so how much hash rate can you get out of these? You guys know, like 30 to 32. I'm just going to say like 31, respectively, times uh, 33. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, so he has 11 on that side, 11 on this side. Must have 11 on the top, too. So 33 altogether, as we can see in this picture, times, let's say, 32.7. All right, Clarence says 32.7. 32.7 mega hash times 33. Uh, sapphire cards here. Oh, he's getting pretty much over 11, uh, 1 giga hash. 1. Uh, 1,779 giga hash. That's nuts. That's nuts. Hey, a good. A, okay, okay. 
Etherchain.org. All right, let's see how much he's making a day right now on 33. Get, pretty much he's making a giga hash, okay? Um, we go to mining revenue on Etherchain.org. And as of the live stream today, the revenue for a giga hash, okay, USD value on the Ethereum network, he's making about $11.81 a day before electrical costs. Oh. 11 USD for one giga hash. Oh, man. I'm sorry. That, that, it hurts right now, guys. It's definitely down the dumps. But hey. Hey, it could get better. The, the market is going up, actually. It seems like it seems like we're going we're going up. It seems like we're going up. Bitcoin dominance has been dropping a little bit as of yesterday. All right. So not bad, not bad. Okay, uh, ta Lars and Guru, thanks so much for the pick, guy. Thanks for thanks so much for the pick. This is awesome. Dang. All right. Next up, guys, we got Da Rizzle. First rig, RX five seventy, getting thirty two mega hash on four hundred twenty watts at the wa uh, hundred four hundred twenty watts. Wow. Uh, Asus B250 Photon, 1350 watt, 26 gigabytes of memory on Windows 10. Oh, virtual memory. All right. Nice. Let's check this out. Wow. 420 watts, did you say? Okay, I'm assuming that's in software. I'm going to assume... I'm going to assume that's in the software. Um, but in... In the... Uh, in the wall, at the wall, this is probably... I'm gonna say between 700 and 800 watts. Yeah, at the wall, 700, 800 watts. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Nice rig, man. Veta frame with the MSI MK2s. Yeah, these are the MK2 edition cards. Very nice. Uh, very nice, man. With a uh, Proton power supply, you said? That looks cool. I like the uh, RGB fans in the front. I'm assuming these are the Corsair edition ones. Yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice. If Bit King Rocks, if you're getting 39 mega hash out of our Polaris card, you need to go design GPUs for AMD. <laughs> 39 mega hash out of a Polaris card is not real, my friend. Yeah, who? What? Who's seen? If they're like my Fury, be around 39 with minor adjustments. Oh, Gun of Gain, you have uh, RX Fury. Yeah, 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 Fury. Not, not the Polaris. The Fury is the uh, Vega HBM HBM memory. Yeah. So there's a side shot MK2 cooler from MSI. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. Dang. All right, Da Rizzle. Thanks so much for the pick, man. All right, next up we got Winter SM six by Arcs 5700s. Ooh. Very nice. Let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. Okay, looks like he's got a server rack of some sort. I can tell by the rails here. And uh, he's got it enclosed with six of the RX 5700s. And uh, what motherboard is this? Let's check this out. What motherboard is this? Uh, looks like an MSI. I can't really tell. Looks like an MSI board. Maybe an Asus. Nah, it looks like an MSI board. Maybe an Asus board. I can't really tell. Uh, but that looks sick, man. Looks like you plugged into 240 as well. Uh, let's see. 240. Looks like you got a PD power distribution unit here going on over here. Or just a power bar of some sort. That looks pretty cool, though. Dang. Right on. Right on. Winner SM looking good, my friend. 314 mega hash. Right on. Mining ETC. 52.3 mega hash per RX 570. Awesome, awesome. Wow, their temperatures are really good too. 54, 50 degrees, fans at 53. Awesome. Awesome. Dang, I'm actually thinking of building a 5700 rig soon. Winner SM, thanks so much for the pick, man. Um, Clarence, I have Micron Mem, great cards. Big King Ross, Micro, Micron is great memory in general. Wish we can unlock these GDR6 in tune. Yeah. Hey, I'm sure I'm sure there's gonna be some unlocking potential for the 5700 coming real soon. I, I bet, for sure, for sure. Uh, I didn't complete my saying, Red. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, man, you're talking about the Crypto Tab browser. I I don't know anything about the Crypto Tab browser, but uh, 
Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not into that. I'm not into the uh, browser mining stuff. Um, okay, next next card, next guy we got is Tumor. Tumor, what is up, man? All right, Lyle, let's see this. What do we got here? Ooh, RTX 2070s. And uh, guys, one second, one second. I just I got I just got to open my door. <laughs> Alright guys, sorry, I just had to open my door. It was too hot. Okay, um... Alright, so we got, uh... Sorry, who do we have here? Tumor, Tumor, what is up, man? Alright, so we got the EVGA... Looks like EVGA RTX 2070s. Ooh, look at the lights on these. That looks sick. That looks really sick. RTX 2070s, they take uh, one 8-pin and one 6-pin. Oh, that's cool. I thought they were taking two 8 pins for some reason. Uh, but looks like you got it and looks like he's got it in a server case of some sort. I can tell by these uh, these rails here. Looks like you got the, these 120mm uh, or 140mm fans in the front. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, 120mm fans, not 140. 140 wouldn't fit in a server case, I think, if the rails are this high. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. What motherboard is this? Uh, H1 H81 Pro BTC motherboard. Ah, nice from Azrock. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I, I have my rigs on in my room where I where, <laughs> where I'm recording. So, whew, it's getting hot. <laughs> okay, very nice. What is this? MSI. RTX are these 20 are these uh, 2060 uh, these look like 2060s uh, two, 2060s yeah yeah and he's got it in a um, uh, this looks like a Hydra Hydra server case uh, I forgot the name of this Big King Ross you probably know what this you probably know what the name of this is I forgot the name of this uh, server case looks like a Hydra Hydra server case but this looks sick though, really, really clean, really clean. You got eight GPUs in here. Uh, Space Goats Hydra, yeah, nice. Okay, speaking rest, yeah, that is a Hydra. Okay, perfect, perfect. I got that right. Awesome. Ah, that looks sick. This is a huge case. Just crazy. Uh, Twenty seventy is going into deep learning. Ah, very nice, very nice. Um, I actually have a video. I I want to talk about um. Uh, that deep learning stuff, putting your new cards and stuff to uh, selling your selling your rendering hash rate, and uh, it actually is a little bit more profitable. But uh, I'll have a video about that later. Um, hey, Crypto Clutch, what's up, man? <laughs> Nefarious, good morning, my friend. Just woke up. Yeah, I, I just woke up like an hour ago, man. Uh, that's awesome. Tumor, so he's running. Uh, how much mega hash here? 189 mega hash. This is on the 2060s. Okay, all right. I, th I I thought you could get more out of them, but maybe I'm wrong. F uh, 29 mega hash. So wait, let's go back. 29 mega hash. RTX 2060s. Yeah, 2060s by eight. Can't you get more mega hash than I thought? You get 40 mega hash out of a 2060. Maybe I'm wrong. Nefarious, that live stream was about five minutes shy of twenty of uh, five hours. Oh, really? Nefarious, that was a long stream. Oh man, sorry I can yeah, sorry I can stay up, man. Let me know how how is the epic? How how much uh, hashes per second could you mine with that epic? L let us know, man. All right, uh, Tumor, thanks so much for the picks, man. All right, oh he's got another pick here. 30 mega hash, 245 mega hash total. Uh, memory clock plus 600. Oh, okay, okay. So he's just boosting up. Okay, so maybe 30 mega hash for the 2060, 2060s. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, Tumor, thanks so much for the pick. Okay, guys, uh, gonna keep going fast here. <laughs> I'm so behind. I'm only on November 3rd of 2019. And now it's like middle of January. I'm, I keep getting further and further behind. So I'm going to fly through this. 
Uh, Krev, what is up, man? So, Krev, you got a custom-made aluminum frame here with a bunch of sapphire, uh, sapphire nitros. Very nice. Looks like you got one GTX uh, Zotac Mini on the side here. And you got a, maybe a few uh, 1060s or 1050s over here. Very nice, man. Cable management. Looks like you're just building it now. So, or as of making that picture, it's probably built now. <laughs> uh, Krev, thanks so much. Rip mining rig. Oh no, are you taking it apart? Ah, uh, thanks so much. Uh, Chaos. All right, next up we got Chaos. Is five GTX 1070s, one 1050, and eight 970s. Ooh, oh, a little bit older cards. Okay, so custom aluminum frame. It looks like it's bending a little bit. That's kind of scary. Um, and some MSI Gaming Edition cards. And looks like you're using the ASRock BTC Plus Pro motherboard. Very nice. Looks like you got some bullseye stuff going down here. What do you? Is this for? Shoot, this is like for guns or something, right? Gun range? <laughs> Are you a gun guy? Probably. That looks cool, man. Nice rig, Chaos. Here's a side shot. HP server power supplies. Look at this. Look at that. Ah, oh, yeah, that looks that looks good. HP server power supplies. I like that you have them like zap strapped to the side of the of the uh, aluminum frame uh, angle here. It looks pretty cool. Crypto Clutch Panda, have you seen the pics of Furies on? On the frame, they are bent so much from the weight. Yeah, clutch. I remember seeing that. Ah, uh, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. Uh, Nefarious, thirteen thousand, fourteen thousand for the epic hash rate. Damn. I thought epics could get like twenty or thirty hashes per second or something. Did you enable um, huge pages and all that kind of stuff? Sick. Uh, Chaos, thanks so much for the pick. Alright, next up we got Celicon. Celicon. Nice name, man. Alright, what do we got? We got a bunch of GPUs here. And, uh, looks like a custom made frame. Custom made slash wooden frame with some aluminum angle by the looks of it. And we got GTX 1070 for the win edition. As, uh, Asus Strix card. Looks like we got a pallet. Pal Whoa, I haven't heard of pallet for a while. Uh, palette and an MSI gaming edition card. Very nice. Wow, look at this. This is sick. Look at this. Looks like you you just built it. Looks like you're going to be adding some more cards. Uh, Silicon, if you see this, man, let me know if you added more cards to this. Looks really good. Thanks so much for the pick. All right, next up we got Flockhead. Flockhead. Ooh, what's this, man? Ooh, we got a vertical. A vertical custom-made aluminum frame here by the looks of it. Uh, gigabyte, is this a gigabyte card? Yeah, gigabyte, gigabyte card with an MSI, two MSI cards as well. So two gigabyte cards and two MSI cards on a custom frame here with a, with a, what power supply is this? Hunt key, 1250 watt. Okay. This is an unknown power supply I've never heard of before. <laughs> Uh, oh, Clarence, sorry, yeah, MSI Armor MK1. Yeah, that's right. This is the Mark 1 cooler. That's right, that's right. I forgot I forgot the name of that. That looks sick. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. All right, uh, Flockhead. Oh, you got one more pick here. Let's keep it going. Ooh, all right. Ah, oh, the IO shot. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, this is the. these are the M MSI Armor Edition cards. And uh, two Gigabyte Edition cards here at the top. Very nice. Oh, you got it. You got it attached to an ATX case. Ah, okay. Interesting. Intuitive. It looks like you have it attached to an ATX case. Interesting. And then I, I'm assuming you have the USB risers going into the motherboard on the other side. Ah, that's why you have it vertical. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Right on. Flockhead, thanks so much for the pick, man. Okay, guys. Um, all right. Uh, how much are we streaming now? We've been streaming for 41 minutes. All right, I'm I'm gonna end it there. That's uh That's as long as I wanted to go. I Oh man, how many have I got? I've gone through a, I've gone through a lot of pictures today. All right, that's all I wanted to go through my friends um, But how are you guys all doing today? 
I'm going to end the stream in the next five minutes. So how many watching right now? 53 watching, 28 likes. Ah, happy, happy Saturday, guys. Happy Saturday. Hope you guys, hope you guys doing well. Um, yeah, the markets right now. Let's, let's take a look at the market real quick here. Bitcoin up 8167.81%. Okay, so actually what I've been watching today, this morning, is the Ethereum and, oh, actually Ethereum Classic has been going up mad, 10% right now. Uh, $5.69. Look at this. Ethereum Classic making some moves. Um... Look at this. It's it's going up. It's going up for sure. Man, Ethereum Classic, like just like half a month ago was $3.88 USD. Now it's $5.69. $5.69. That's really good. Ah, I love it. I love it. I love it. Looking good. Awesome. That's crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> Ethereum Classic making some moves. So let's see. Market uh, BTC dominance 76 67.9%. Alright, that's actually really good. So it looks like market dominance, BTC dominance is kind of creeping up. Altcoins are kind of going up. Kind of. They're creeping up, guys. Come on. Alt altcoin season, is it time? I mean, by looking at this chart, like Big high, back down. Big high for altcoins, back down. Really big high for altcoins back in 2017. And back down. Are we going to get another ugh, another jolt up for the altcoins? Hey. Might be a really good opportunity cost play right now to mine altcoins, hodl, and sell as the Bitcoin dominance goes down. Not financial advice, not mining advice. I bet some of you guys are doing that, but... That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> ETC, get to that 001 BTC value. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Holy smoke. Where's ETC right now? Yeah, ETC is... How much Satoshi's? 0 0.00069851. Ah, yes. When was uh, Satoshi value? Oh, highest point for Ethereum Classic was 0 0.007. 007 Satoshis. Holy smoke. Wow. Imagine if you you traded back then. Even at the high time when Bitcoin was 20k, Ethereum Classic was like 40 bucks. 0.02 to 0.03 Satoshis. Dang. And now it's way down. Way down. Uh, I'm watching the chart. It's been trading since before the other bull runs. Likely we hit it this week, but I have a feeling tonight. Oh, Big King Ross. I love it. I love it. Sounds good, man. Financial advice. I'm taking it from Big King Ross, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. I just want to keep this stream. I just want to keep this stream short, and uh, I want to thank all the community members who posted their rig picks here. Thank you so much. Um, Ethereum 150. Ah, okay. Baking grass sounds good. All right, guys. Um, Clarence, thanks so much for the donation, man. Devo, thanks so much for the donation as well. You guys are awesome. And uh, you guys, I appreciate all of you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in to the live stream this morning. Um, I'll see you guys in a regular video schedule tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to live stream throughout the week next week, maybe. You know, a couple of days. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so stay tuned. You guys have a good weekend. I'm gonna get some errands done, and, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright? I appreciate all of you. Have a good, have a good weekend. <laughs> have a good one, kind of gain. Have a good one, man. Aussie Bogan Tech, have a good one, my friend. You too, user. Thanks, man. Nefarious, have a good day. Joe040. Um, I, I, I gotta go. Uh, Joe040, but uh, I can answer your question later. Uh, Big King Ross, see you tomorrow, man. Yeah, have a good one, my friend. Mining Chamber, have a good one, man. <laughs> You're late. 
but thanks man thanks for thanks for popping in man thanks for popping in <laughs> no worries no worries so cannon all right i'll see you guys later have a good weekend peace out